This is Prabhu Singh, and uh, we're here at the Gurdwara. I just wanted to ask you a few different questions about being a Sikh here in Espanola. Um, one of the things that some people are curious about is, you know, wearing bana, wearing, having a turban. How, how is it, you know, getting a job or working in the mainstream? How do people relate to you? Is it difficult to get jobs? Um, I don't think it's difficult to get a job uh, with turban on here. For one thing, in Espanola and the surrounding areas, people are very familiar with turbans. They may not know that we're Sikhs, but at least they're used to seeing us wearing a turban. And uh, there's a lot of diversity here, and so um, they tend to not discriminate since it's also against the law. So. <laughs> Um, as a minority here in Espanola, um, being Sikhs, and um, how do people relate to you? Um, well, it's, I guess, like a myriad of reactions. I, um, the, uh, I think the local people relate to me pretty well because I grew up here, and uh, I'm interested in the local culture, and I participate in the local culture. and. I've been here so long that I feel like I know the whole town, and uh, so I, I feel like I'm treated pretty well here. Um, I feel like I know how to relate to the people that are here because I grew up with their culture, so I know it well. What are some of the challenges and things that you've gone through uh, growing up as a Sikh? Well, in Espanola, the uh, culture here is very different. The Spanish settled here in 1598, and uh, most of the population here in Espanola is Spanish, from the lineage of the Spaniards who conquered here and lived here. And uh, there was uh, a vi it was sometimes violent conquest. Sometimes the the Native Americans and the, the Spaniards here got along, but uh, there's a lot of pride and culture here amongst the Spanish, and the natives have a lot of pride and culture. Most of them practice two religions, both their native religion and, and Catholicism. And uh, in my school growing up, my brother and I, we were the only Anglos in the school. And of course, we were the only Sikh kids in the school as well. So that's very similar kind of in some ways to how some Punjabi Sikhs might be in a, a minority, in a white all white type school. Yeah, it was very much so. Um, it was it was really challenging, very very challenging. Uh, I mean, I was taught to live to the highest ideals of the Sikh Dharma, and uh, that's what I resonated with. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be nice to people. I wanted to help people. I just wanted to get along with the other students, and it was nearly impossible for most of my schooling years. Um, just. We, my brother and I were tormented for everything. It, it was, whether it was the clothes we were wearing, mostly it was about our turban. It was, they used to cuss at us in Spanish and we didn't really understand what it was at first. Now we're quite well aware of what the names they used to call us. And um, the, uh, just the food we ate because we were vegetarian. Um, just everything, everything about us was different. The fact that we were interested in learning different things in class, you know, rather than goofing off or whatever, and just trying to start a conversation about anything, and uh, we were made fun of because everything we did was, seemed to be different. So. How did you overcome some of that? Because normal, like I can think if I were a young person and I were in school, I had all these pressures, you know, it would be very likely that I would want to try to fit in, and I, because I'd I don't want to feel that way, I wouldn't want to feel that pressure, so what was it that you, that enabled you to go through that and still maintain yourself as a Sikh? Um, I realized one thing early on, and that was that if I cut my hair, I still would not assimilate, I'd still be a different race than everybody else. And I realized that there was so much pain amongst the, the amongst uh, the things that I, I went through as a child based on just the di discrimination. I felt like everywhere I went, you know, I was the wrong race, the wrong religion, and everything I did was wrong. And 
and it was just tough for me. But I always found um, peace in the Gnora and amongst Sikhs. And uh, so I didn't contemplate too much when I was a kid on, on why that was, why I found peace here. But at least I had that, and mostly my sadhana, with my daily practice, you know, was tying a turban, and that was about it. And, um, you know, I was influenced by my peers in some ways, and uh, I wasn't as strong as a Sikh that I feel I am now uh, when I was in school. I feel that when I got to college and I started meeting different people that were more accepting, and I started really getting into what is, you know, Sikh Dharma about. That's when I started to make strides towards becoming better and doing things better for myself so that I wasn't participating in activities that hurt me or hurt others. And just trying to be conscious and live to the ideals that I always had in me, but just kept silent um, when, when it was challenging. So now, now it's just, it's my sadhana, that's what maintains me. I, I read all my bhanis, I do a lot of meditation, and... Uh, what motivates you to do that? If, if I don't do that, my life is difficult. And uh, it's, it's how I survive, basically. Um, it's how I meet challenges in my life. I feel like there's just so many challenges, and uh, everything can be... Ten times more challenging if you don't have some kind of strength to face those challenges, and so that's uh, that's what that's what brings me through what I do, and I feel like as an adult, um, all the challenges that I had as a child, um, they just have no weight to them. They don't challenge me anymore. I've gone through them, and um, I, in a way, I've conquered them. You know, people making fun of me just doesn't matter to me anymore. You know, I'm happy with the way I am. I'm very happy with the way I am, so... <laughs> I don't care if people think what I'm doing is wrong. And I feel like it's right. What are some of the things that you do, like, in your free time? Because, you know, people might say, Oh, you're a Murdari, you know, you meditate a lot. Oh, it must all be, like, religious something, you know. Yeah. You know of course, I imagine that you're not <clears throat> meditating 24 hours in your room. You know, you do probably do things real yeah. that normal people do. So I have a lot of fun. Anybody who's seen my blog probably knows that I've had a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoy nature, and we have, you know, tons of opportunities to be in nature here. You know, yeah, on my blog I have pictures of me jumping off cliffs into the water, which is really fun. I like, I like any kind of thrill. And I like to go on hikes. I like to just spend time up in the mountains. In the wintertime, I like to snowboard or ski. And uh, I like to do anything physical, really. I love sports. I really like to work on my cars. I'm big into low riding. It's just part of my culture growing up here in Española. And uh, I have a lot of cars, and I play with them sometimes. And uh, I do, sometimes I do, like, work at my house, landscaping here kind of construction, amateur construction. But I just enjoy life. Every every bit of life is is good and it, it's it's a good formula that I have right now. I, I meditate a lot so that the rest of it goes smoothly. So Prabhu, what what are some what motivates you? What motivates me is just my desire to remember God with every breath. You know, I'm far from there, but when I see glimpses of it, when I'm sitting in Gurdwara and I feel in that meditation, or I feel like God is sur surrounding me, that it's possible to remember God with every breath. That's what motivates me. And just to see injustice in the world, to see people suffering, and to see how gifted I am, you know, that God has given me so much. and not only given me so much, but given me enough, you know, to be happy and to share that with other people. So what motivates me is to just help people, to serve people. That's what I really want to do.
and I feel that I need to work as hard as I possibly can to gather all the resources I can use to help people and to just be an inspiration wherever I go and to just be the best that I can be and uh, try to remain humble in my actions and just remember God. Thank you.